I'm Carly. And I'm Bo, and welcome to The Transcript. This week, Hamped Up goes head first in the NHS swimming season. Arts cooks up some sweet knowledge with our baking teacher, Ms. Pickering. And The Transcript is pleased to premiere a short documentary from student videographer, Julia Carpenter. Hi, I'm Connor McClendon. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? For the final Hamped Up episode before the holiday break, we decided to talk to the swimming and diving team about their season. Hi, I'm Connor McClendon, and I was going to do a poolside interview with the swim team, but they kicked us out because the divers need quiet. So we are standing in a freezing cold hallway. I am with Cam Miller, Cam Miller and Lily Ellinger, and we're here to talk about swimming. Where are you hoping to finish by the end of the season? We, um, we definitely started off this year with a bunch of new swimmers who um, not all of them had past swimming experience. So, you know, we were going in like, OK, um, we don't really know how the season's going to play out. But I was really happy to see from both the guys' teams and the girls' team um, from our first couple of meets that everyone has been practicing really hard and they're getting good times. I've heard a lot of people complain about the JFK pool, like it's hard to breathe in there. So has that been a challenge for you guys? Yeah, for me, since I have asthma, it's been kind of tough. And they said that they fixed it, but it doesn't seem like they've made much of a difference. Half of our team kind of suffers from asthma, which is really funny. But um, there, I mean, yes, they did fix the air quality. And it's gotten a little better, but there are days where it still gets really, really bad. So is it, is it better at other pools that you've been to at different high schools? Not really. Northampton ended up losing to East Hampton, but Nick Whitcomb set a record during the meet. All right, so how does it feel to have broken the Western Mass and team record for the 100-meter backstroke? Feels pretty good. Got a lot of adrenaline going, got a lot of my teammates cheering for me, so that really helped push me through to the end. Were you expecting to break the record today? Um, yeah, um, I was expecting to go about what I went, um, which is like almost a second under the Western Mass record. Um, it was personal best time, so that was, that was an additional bonus. That was nice, yeah. And finally, what did the official say to you after the race? Um, the official said that slamming my hand on the water, which was my celebration, could be seen as unsportsmanlike conduct. Luckily, they didn't disqualify me, but it was just a warning. Another sports news, but the boys and girls basketball teams won big this week. The boys won their home opener against Commerce 62-34, to and the girls took down Amherst on the road 67-30. to The girls are undefeated at 3-0, and the boys improved to 2-2. fun to do, it's good to socialize, and you get to eat the final part of it, so. We're working um, with food, we're always eating with our eyes first, we want to make it presentable. And we want, um, there's something in our brain that's going to make us think that if we see it, we want to eat it. And then that's going to start our digestive juices thinking we want to eat it. So anything that you're making from scratch with your hands is really a form of artwork. And your hands become tools. Most women are happier at home. 
they are pretending that they like working and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't work all here? weekend. I'm You're making a mistake. Here. You would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Oh boy. Migraines may ensue or you'll bleed from your eyes and your nose or or whatever. <laughs> oh but my men, god. No, no, but, 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 but when men are married to women who scream like you, they just want to die sooner. It's like a wife and her credit cards. The Americans have to be the husband that takes the credit card and breaks it up. You, you I love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's what Well, you just mean? talking me through how how what well, you, what you, by you, not answering the question what you, by what you, what you, what you repeating suggesting? processes which are not related to the question that I've asked. What's, what's mansplaining, Senator? something that a woman could explain or maybe even just allow a woman to sort of talk about to understand it so it can go beyond um, a woman not understanding and a man talking about it uh, or a woman understanding it and a man talking about it but a woman sort of talking through her ideas to get to her own definition yes I do think it's a problem issue um, recently I was at a meeting and I was trying to explain technology I was trying to explain that I could help technology um, and I was not listened to until I brought up the fact that I could talk to Mr. Whelan. Um, I've been in classrooms where I'm not being called on. I've been in small groups and even if I take the lead I get bad looks which is this, another aspect of if a woman starts talking she sort of becomes this like overpowering, overbearing kind of person. So yes, I do think it's very prevalent. I think um, on the teacher's part, or administrator's part, I think that they need to make a conscious effort to make sure that they are calling on everyone in the classroom when they are in groups together, making sure that it's not all one gender or all one friend group. I think within the classroom, I think they should also be a conversation sometime around was speaking and this doesn't have to be only like men are doing this but like hey everyone like in my classroom on the first day you can say uh, I want to make sure that everyone is heard I want everyone no matter what your background to be talking that can also go for people of color um, for people who do not fit within the binary um, and just to make sure that students know that so students can also have that conscious effort um, be sort of instilled in them by the teachers. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. You have them by the face. We were talking about like some of the things on the male typically yeah. is the thing dominant role. Didn't we didn't men give you the kitchen? Really? I just gotta think of what I'm gonna say. You know what clock is really If you want to rule the world, little girls, you got to know what the guys like. You got 100 cat goals. Let me add 101. Damn, babe, you're a piece of woman. What? I... She is finding fault with men on the street saying hello to her, which may in fact be their only way of contacting women. It's their bar, and she's walking through it. There's got to be some downside to having a woman president, right? Something. Thanks for watching and have a great holiday break. The transcript will return on January 13th. In the meantime, go to nhstechnology.org for more content and to watch previous episodes.